The uh, Judicial Nominating Commission sent you three names this week as uh, possible replacements for uh, Tennessee Supreme Court Justice right. Holder. Uh, what issues are you going to be considering in making that decision? Well, I mean, I think the same thing. We're, we're looking, you know, at, at the end of the day, we want somebody who who will be a good judge for a long for a, for a period of time. And so, um, what what I've done every time in the past is I've had every one of the nominees come up and personally interviewed them, as as does the the rest of our uh, legal team in uh, in the governor's office, and then pick the person we think can serve in the best way. And like I said, they they've given us we think three good names, and I, I look forward to interviewing all of them. And uh, how long before you announce your selection? You know, you, what what usually t typically has to happen is we get the nominations, we do um, uh, they do all the, the background checks, then they come up and have an interview. It's usually from the time we get the nominations to a selection, you know, somewhere four to eight weeks, depending on how, how hard it is to set up all the interviews just to get them scheduled. Might be a little more difficult around the holidays now. But. Since that vacancy doesn't occur until next September 1st, right. is, so, there a time, is there a legal deadline? No, there, there's no legal deadline at all. So it's you really don't have that soon? <coughs> we don't, but I, on the other hand, have it, they've gone through the process. I don't know that there's any real benefit in putting it off and, and leaving all of them. Now, in, in these, in this, so sometimes there's a real pressure, particularly if there's somebody that's in private practice, so that they they're not kind of left out, they're practicing and left out, they're hanging. In this case, we don't really have that. Thank Thanks, everybody. Actually, we Thank do one of them. Take it back. We do one. There's one. There's one private practice. Governor, five applicants for a Supreme Court position is a pretty slim pick. And do you think this really represents the cream of the crop of Western Tennessee jurisprudence? Well, I mean, of course, we can't. We can't. Uh, we don't control how many people apply. And I don't know, I actually have asked two or three other people, like, why do they think uh, there was such a, a low number of applicants? And I don't know, I haven't, I don't have a, a really good theory as to why that is. Because, I, was because of confusion over the judicial selection? There could be some of that, and just knowing that that's still up in the air. Uh, I think that there, there's no doubt that's probably part of the reason there were fewer applicants. If you were to reject the slate, would you have to automatically get the other two, or would there be <laughs> That's a good question. I don't know. I, I haven't, uh, I hadn't even thought about that yet. So, but I, I was surprised that there were only five for a Supreme Court position.